I'm pretty sure you guys can see my little thing, but I don't know. I'm not naked, okay? I'm not naked, alright? <laughs> I'm going to go. Happy Easter. It's been quite some time since I've talked to you guys. Um, probably, like, I don't know. Let me check. It's been a little over two months since I've talked to you guys. If, you, if you've seen me looking over here, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to make sure, like, everything looks good. I'm sorry. But, um... It's been a little over two months since I've talked to you guys. A lot of things have happened in <laughs> this very short amount of time that has been pretty crazy. Um, uh, very crazy, actually. Um, I met a guy. Um, I moved out. Um, and then within, week, within a week, I had um, broken up with that guy and moved back into my mother's house because a lot of things went down that I really don't want to get into but I had to do what I had to do to protect myself as well as my nugget <laughs> see you guys look at that I'm so excited I am having a baby um it's kind of crazy it's kind of exciting it's honestly I didn't expect it um but I am super excited I'm eight weeks today on Easter and I am so, so, so thankful and so happy. Um, while things definitely aren't where or weren't what I expected them to be, that definitely doesn't change my opinion of being a mother. I am so grateful and so happy to be able to do this and to be able to have my own little mini me, regardless of if I have a man to help me with this baby or not. Um, I don't need a man, never did, never will. I feel like they're bad luck at this point so like I'm just kind of um, doing me and figuring things out for myself kind of just trying to rebuild my life because a lot of things went down that kind of just <sighs> caused me to have to rebuild my life from literally the ground up I spent so much money on this apartment I had a whole um, video for you guys on the apartment I was showing you guys like basically clips of what we had um, clips of what I had bought it because I bought a lot of stuff um, I I pretty much spent the most money on this place that him and I were supposed to have together and I just kind of realized who he was I think a little bit too late but early enough that I'm very glad that I got out when I did um, I just am so happy to be back with you guys. I'm going to be doing more story times. I'm going to be doing pregnancy updates. I'm going to be kind of just like going through and, you know, um, just having a little bit of, of like a, I don't know, kind of like a, a, a like videos to update about my pregnancy just so that I, I too can be able to look back and see what this journey was for me. It was pretty shitty I'm not gonna lie I was pretty nauseous all day long um, I felt pretty shitty all day long until just recently and I decided to you know not really do my makeup because I didn't put no foundation on girl I say fuck that yes I did yes I did girl I put on some eyelashes some eyeliner these clip on earrings that I got for Easter from my mom and this cute little romper that I got from um where did I get this from Shein um and I just decided to do a YouTube video because I haven't seen you guys in forever and I miss you guys so much and um, while things definitely have changed a lot I have not been more proud of myself for the steps that I've made in my life I have not been more happy with this myself with the steps that I've made in my life I feel kind of like a completely different person now um, and I mean they say that motherhood changes you and like yes I haven't had my child yet but um, I don't know what it is I just feel completely different and I am just honestly basically I'm only solely focused on making sure that I have a life that I can provide um, great things for me and my child and that's pretty much all I'm focused on right now guys are at the wayside um, I will be speaking on what happened between me and the father of my child um, not right now I feel like it's not the right time um, also like I don't feel I don't feel safe to talk about it especially like with the things have that have gone on and um the way that law enforcement around here has been acting towards the situation i just don't feel safe um really just opening up about all of it right now but i definitely will because it for sure was a learning experience and i think that it could help people um also learn to just do better for themselves just 
take better steps to really know who you're with. Um, again, in this two months, I moved in with somebody and I got pregnant and I just kind of devoted myself to somebody who I didn't fully really know yet. And I only really fully knew after leaving him. So it's just something that I feel like is definitely going to be a learning experience for everybody. And I do feel um, like I want to kind of express that at some point. I feel like I'm entitled to express that at some point because it's the life that I'm living and what I've gone through and I feel like it could definitely help somebody. So um, I'm so excited to be having this baby. I'm so excited to like actually like become a mom. Like it's crazy to me that that's actually what's happening. Like, you know, um, I just, <laughs> I'm just very like I'm very excited um, I, I'm definitely going to be um, moving out again I, I have to I need to I want to um, but right now I'm just kind of focusing on myself and focusing on um, what I need to do as a mother to prepare for this child um, I don't know I'm just I'm super excited I'm super happy and I have missed you guys so much I have a couple <laughs> I have some story time, okay? Some story times. Not just this crazy ass situation with this dude, but like literally so many other things. I mean, I was introduced to this dude by somebody who completely shattered my trust and my friendship. Um, and then he went along and did the same thing. So it's like basically, I have so many story times about so many people that have just done me dirty for these past couple months. And I'm just, I'm just done. I'm just, I'm. I'm not hiding my truth and my story and what what has happened to me. I'm not hiding it for anybody's self-image, for anybody to be able to sit and say whatever they want to say about me and about the things that I've done because I know what I've done. I know what I've done. And I'm not going to keep myself quiet for this for the image of others. I'm not I'm not protecting anybody anymore. Nobody but myself and my child and I mean that with everything in my heart. So it's great to see you guys again. Um, I'm probably, my next video is probably going to be, which I'm probably going to film tonight as well. Um, my next video is going to be um, how I found out I was pregnant, which <laughs> was crazy. It was, it was a little bit wild, but um, just some of the signs, the symptoms of like what happened and why, how I, how I figured it out kind of before. I even took a test but was also heavily in denial <laughs> so basically um, it for today guys I just wanted to reach out to you guys and say hello again and kind of start back up um, things have been very wild things have been very crazy but I'm, I'm glad to say that I'm back I only wasn't back because I was moving I was dealing with finding out that I was pregnant um, I had just met this guy that I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with like I literally just like I was devoting everything to making my family work and um, I will not apologize for that. Um, I feel like I am sorry that I, it's taken me so long um, to come back and reach out to you guys but I can't apologize for trying to make the best life that I could have made for myself, my child and who I thought I was going to be with. But now it's just me and the baby so I'm, I'm back and I'm gonna kind of just take you guys along with me on this journey. A motherhood. Yeah. I'm a mother bitch. Bitch, I'm a mother. No drama. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>